Now, Eric, to your question about methotrexate, it's, it's a difficult, difficult question. The reason being is that there was um, a, two studies um, done in South Korea in rheumatology patients where methotrexate is used more commonly than we, than we use in inflammatory bowel disease. We often use methotrexate as an adjuvant to another biologic, like an anti-TNF therapy like Remicade or Humira to prevent antibodies. And, and in rheumatology patients, they often use it at higher doses to treat rheumatoid arthritis. So there was a study done not on the COVID vaccines, but on other um, vaccines, I believe it was influenza vaccine that said, if you stop the methotrexate um, within two weeks, um, you had a, a better response to the, to the vaccine, again, in, in the concept of mounting um, antibodies. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean that you have no response. It was just a little bit of a better one. And so that's led the, the Canadian Rheumatology Association to say, you know, maybe you should be holding your methotrexate um, for uh, one week before, one week after. Uh, and then, of course, that's now kind of leaped, uh, leaped into the IBD community of what we should do with the methotrexate. So we don't have analogous data in the IBD community. And you have to remember that if you hold methotrexate, the trade-off is, do you, do you like, start to develop um, a flare if that's your primary treatment, could you potentially develop antibodies to the drug, the biologic you're on? And so we've struggled with this because we're trying to balance the risk of what happens to your IBD and the drugs you're on against what is the potential risk of the vaccine and its responsiveness in the absence of data in the IBD population. And, and so for the most of us, we're erring on the side of, of continuing therapy, but ultimately that really does come down to a discussion between you and your gastroenterologist to understand why are you on the methotrexate, the dose you're on, what is the purpose? Um, and, and if there's a concern, it's your gastroenterologist saying, you know, this is the reason. And I think it's really important that you don't stop your methotrexate for this reason or this reason. Or they might say, you know what, maybe you, if you feel strongly about it, you can hold it and, and it's less of a risk, but it's going to be different from person to person. And that's why it's hard for us to say a universal statement here, here on this platform.